Hey everyone, I'm Nick Coons with Hyperion Works, and today I'm going to show you how to use a regular Cat5 cable to connect uh, analog video surveillance cameras. Typically that's something you use a coax cable for. Um, it's a much thicker piece of cable than this little guy right here. It's uh, it's usually what's called it's like a Siamese cable, so it'll be like a thick piece of coax and then another cable attached to it, which is the power. Uh, that cable can be kind of annoying to run. It's more expensive, it's a lot thicker, it's difficult to get through conduits, it's not nearly as flexible. Um, so if you don't have great distances to run, I mean like more than a few hundred feet, then a lot of times using a piece of Cat5 cable like this is going to work. Um, typically, the uh, cameras will connect with little BNC crimp connectors that you connect and crimp onto the, the coax cable. So in order to connect the camera with this, we have a few adapters. So I'm going to show you what I have here. The first one is, is uh, this guy right here. Um, sometimes it's you know a longer pigtail piece like this, which is about eight inches. Sometimes it's the just the shorter piece where the BNC connector is built onto the plastic. But essentially, it's all the same. It has the BNC connector on the one end, which is what will connect into the camera, and then it has this little guy on the other end, which takes a single pair of wires from the Cat5 cable. Then, of course, we have our standard power connector. This is the same as we'd use if we were using the coax cable, so no difference here. Um, that's the little barrel connector. You'll put a single pair of wires in there, and then this plugs into the power receptacle for the camera. Uh, so with our Cat5 cable here, we have four pair of wires. We only need two of them. So we're going to have two of them that we're not going to use. The colors don't matter. It's totally up to you. Just be consistent. If you're going to pick a certain pair for a certain task, then do that throughout the installation. That way, you know, someone following after you won't, uh, won't go insane. So what I did here is I've, I've peeled back the... Uh, outer coating uh, from this piece of cable. Now I'm, I've decided I'm going to use the orange cable for the power and or the orange pair for the power and the blue pair for the data. Blue pair for the data is going to go to this guy here. Uh, the green and brown I'm not using. I've just decided to wrap them up around the, the, the base of the cable here. You could cut them off. Don't need them for anything. But I... you could you could use a second, you could use the same cable to hook up a second camera if you wanted to or something else. Um, so I like to leave them here just that way they're, they're available if I need them for future expansion. You'll also notice that I've cut this, uh, the blue pair, a lot shorter than, than the orange pair. Now the reason for that is because the connectors that are going to go onto them, again, this is for the data, this is going on the blue, the blue pair, and this is going on the orange pair. I would like them to basically line up at the same point when they connect. Now, instead of a camera, I'm actually going to be connecting a microphone to this one. It works exactly the same way, except I have one more little adapter, and this is that BNC to RCA. So now this is going to go right here and snap into place on that. That's going to make this a little bit longer. So what I did before I cut the cable is I basically held it up next to it, like, like this, kind of roughly and figured out, okay, well that's about how much longer the orange cable or the orange pair of wire needs to be than the blue pair of wire. So I cut them there. Then I went ahead and I stripped off anywhere from, let's see, about, let's say a quarter inch to three sixteenths off of each of those. That looks about right. Now for this connector here, in this particular case, they use these little spring loaded pieces. It could be screws, they could be anything else, but typically it's going to be, you know, just a single pair. So what you do is you pull down on these, and they're, like I said, they're really tight, they're spring loaded, and then you pop the wires into the little holes right there, and then you just release, and then the spring holds it in place. So I'm just going to pull this back, put my wires in place, let go, and now they're in. So we've got a connection there. The little pieces of metal inside are up against the copper on the inside. Now it doesn't really matter what order these are in. Again, it, just like it doesn't matter what color they are, just make sure you're doing this consistently on each side because when you connect to the DVR, you're going to need another one just like this on the other side of the cable, which in my case is right here, but on the other side of this cable, and you want to make sure that you're using the same pair of wire and in the same order. So put them in the same way because then this is going to connect into your DVR. For the power connection, uh, again, this being exact... Oh, wow. I totally put that on the wrong thing. <laughs> All this talk about putting it on the same one and I use the right, the wrong one for it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use it's the blue ones in my case here for the data. So those go in there. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Now the orange cables are going to go into, into here. Now this one is even more important in terms of getting the order right because if you, I don't know if you can tell on camera here, but this little connector has a plus and a minus on it indicating positive and negative for the for the polarity. So we want to make sure we get that right too. Um, these basically just insert right into here and then you tighten the screws down on them. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that here real quick. I'm just going to loosen the screws up a little bit initially 
so the wires will go in place. And then we're going to pop these in. I'm going to go ahead and use the solid one for plus and the striped one for minus, or solid for positive and striped for negative. So it doesn't really matter which ones you do as long as you're consistent throughout the project. So that way it's, it's set up the same way for each camera or microphone that you install and someone coming in after you will be able to look at one and know exactly what you did. So consistency is definitely important. So I'm going to attach those. Now we've got this connector in place. So now these line up basically at the same place. Not not exactly. I mean they're going to be off by a little bit. No big deal. And then what I would what I would do at this point is I would run electrical tape all the way through this whole piece. That way any tugging on this or anything like that won't make it easily come off. That's it. Now this connects into the power and the data for the microphone. Connect the other side. You're all set.